Here's a fascinating story from World War I, which was fought between 1914 and 1918. Much earlier, two Danish states were annexed and had become part of Germany. And as such, those former Danish citizens were pressed into German military service. One of those Danish men became disillusioned by the harsh treatment that he and his fellow Danes suffered at the hands of the Germans. When his brother was killed in action, he decided to desert. So Christian Nikolaisen went to Hamburg on leave, then secretly traveled to Denmark and then left Denmark for the United States, where he joined his brother in Connecticut. When the U.S. entered the war in 1917, our Danish friend, now a U.S. citizen, was drafted and sent to France, where he served behind the lines repairing vehicles. As far as it's known, he's the only person to serve in both the German and the American armies during World War I. His German and American army uniforms are both on display at the National World War I Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. He fought on both sides, meaning he changed sides, which is the essence of the gospel. Every unredeemed sinner in the world is on the side of darkness. But the good news is, one can change sides. You don't have to stay stuck on the wrong side. This is 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. There isn't anyone who needs to stay in the enemy's camp. No matter your background, no matter what you're caught in today, God offers you hope. He offers you a fresh start. And that means he offers the same to your family members, your friends, your children who aren't following God. We can change sides. Through the grace of God, a person can begin all over again, this time on the right side. I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written. Let's live today by every word.